Chris Chan and Vivian G, Episode 4 The thing that sets Vivian apart from the other trolls who interacted with Chris is that it's kind of hard to tell where her heart was at. Was she doing all of this to be funny, or was she really trying to help Chris? Or maybe a little bit of both? I'm still not sure, but I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. With that out ever been said, let's get rocking where we left off yesterday, uh, Chris Chan and Vivian G, Episode 4. Go to Sonichu.com, January 9th. Ah, uh, good grief. Well, to answer your first email, the current status of my bank account continues to be untouched with the past week's auto transfer of $10 to savings. I currently have 68 in checking and 30 in savings. And to answer the second thing, it bothers me as well, and it's been on for a short while now. To best answer your question, I refer you to the Wikipedia's mailbag and search for all letters from a Mr. Alec Benson Larry. I am completely currently contemplating a counterattack because of the current wrong placements on the Wikipedia. Also, another current topic of which I confide into you with my full trust. I am thinking of setting aside $100 for a lady of escort service. <clears throat> or an STD-free prostitute, in other words. To have intercourse with on my upcoming birthday, February 24th. I await your swift reply with your thoughts on the topic. Mm, yeah. Still thinking of the counterattack against Alec. Stay safe. With love and peace, Christian C. In my opinion... It would be better to put that $100 to an actual girlfriend or to Sonichu. Build it up to get tons of girlfriends so you can get free hookups. In my opinion, if the claims are true and you are losing fans, you're going to have to step it up a lot. You're either going to have to defuse him and find the source of his fans, look at his wiki or find out more about him. Mm, that is a good idea. I will see what dirt I can find on his, ugh, as, asperpedia, asperpedia. <laughs> and maybe expose something on that. I would spend it on a real girlfriend, but obviously I have had no easy luck there in finding one. In the past few weeks, I have had a bunch of snow. It has melted considerably, yet there is still a yard full of few vehicle-sized patches. And my car's battery is old, so my family and I plan on jumping it and getting a new one this week. On another note, though, if I recall, did you mention there were a few women in your area who would like me? Talk to you later. Stay safe. Christian C. January 13th. Vivian. Apparently, on the Asperpedia, there's this guy called Mal Ling, apparently. He's their manager. He's managing the crap out of them. He's got a wiki running in six days. He's a god compared to me, and he has full control over the artists. You hardly respond to me. I apologize for not getting back to you lately, but this is killing me too. I do respond to you. As a matter of fact, I finally have my car running again. And I still remember and am planning on making more on the town videos with interviews, flyers and such. <clears throat> As for the Asperpedia, I understand it is editable by anyone. And I have an account created on there. But I am unsure on how to sabotage it. I mean, like on ED, if I make an edit, it can be undone easily. And I can be banned with, ugh, butthurt. I have made announcements on my YouTube about having no alliance with Alec, that he is ripping off me and all that. I'm doing the best I can on this. What else do you suggest I do against that jerk, Asperpedia? Alec has even put up the offensive ads on my Wikipedia. Even I still lack the knowledge of the code to even put such ads on his sidebar. And I do not want to stoop down to their level with crap ads like that. <sighs> if you can upload a virus 
to delete everything on his Asperpedia without them being able to undo it. And the virus eats everything on that website and deletes the whole thing within the hours. I would appreciate that. Or if you can lead me to being able to do that, I would appreciate that as well. <sighs> I'll email you again tomorrow. Stay safe. Christian C. January 15th. One with brackets around it. Vivian said that for some reason. Hmm. I will be making the interview videos, and I will be designing, printing, and distributing the flyers as planned. I would say don't worry, but I'm too worried to even feel right saying that right now. I'm more upset at those four than frightened. I would beat the crap out of each of them if I had the chance to. <sighs> I dare say this whole mess started with my disagreement of there being any link between autism and Asperger's. I still disagree with the scientists, regardless of how long they may have studied those psychological topics. Even if I am living a lie, I'd rather live this lie than believe that truth ever. I am resistant to the change. Talk to you later, Christian C. Calling out, 15th of January. I have just looked up the donations page on the Wikipedia. They say they have reached their goal and left no information that was there before. They listed your name as one of the donors. Don't you still have advertisement control as well? If so, then I would appreciate you taking down the Aspertu ads. I would just be sincerely delighted and most appreciative not only not seeing the Aspopedia ads, but to see your audiobook ads again. In a complimentary way, I would love having your audiobook CDs shoved in my face instead of that Aspopedia. Some quick financial questions. 16th of January. How many credit cards do you have? And how much debt is currently on each? How much is in your checking and savings accounts? Just wondering how much capital you have. I'll send you the drawings for the fly later. But I still would like your input on the text I wrote ASAP, please. Currently, there is $40 in each of my checking and savings accounts. My father is taking care of my debts. I only have one credit card on me. And last time my father let me know, I have about $3,500 or less to go. Plus, I got some, I get some pocket money from my family for the small things. About $6 a day. Talk to you later, Christian C. You might want to condense it down a bit. Correct the typos. It's a flyer after all. People aren't going to want to read a five paragraph thing. You need like a picture, then strong title, subtitle, and then a paragraph or two of info. I see. Can you be more specific on which I should remove or add? And I specifically said that I have less than $3,500 in credit card debt. I apologize for touching a nerve, but thank you for your input. It means a lot to me. Stay safe. Christian C. You need to clear up your debts now. 18th of January. Where? Currently and recently, I have not been spending much, and my father is keeping track of the debt and paying it from what I give him each month. Plus, I was lacking updating, because I had to do the research on the content of the Asper 2 pages for what I currently have on 10 pages. <laughs> I have 12 pages to color today, and I will have them uploaded later today or tonight. I'll talk to you later, Christian C., are you doing anything? 21st of January. I am doing a lot. I am drawing the pages. I am getting the videos. And I am informing my local public. Also, tonight, I have my first young adult social club meeting to attend. So I will be getting good exposure there as well. 
I'm just surprised to see Alec and his crew continuing to shoot themselves in the feet with blood and gore now. <clears throat> Their fame will shortly be going down the toilet. Just like the later season Aqua Teen Hunger Force and 12 Ounce Mouse episodes. I will also be making a new announcement video to upload to YouTube in a short while. Thank you for your support, Vivian. And I apologize for not reading your book before and telling you the truth of how my pastor and pastoral counselor felt about it. I was too busy dealing. I was too busy dealing with my own life real problems and the solitude drawings and whatnot to find time. But I will make time to read your book very soon. I'll talk to you later. Stay safe and have a good day. Christian C. I noticed you made a donation to Haiti. 27th of January. I donated $20 to Haiti a few days ago. So that left me with over 20 in my checking account. It's all good. I'll be getting the next one next Wednesday. And then we have this week's transfer. Put in my savings at 60. It's all cool. Also, it actually was three or four days between page uploads. I had a lot to deal with in real life during those days, such as attending my first young adult social group meeting last Friday, where I also met and hit it off well with a nice and pretty 23-year-old woman. So give me a break. At least I am in the groove of things. Plus, I have been falling asleep earlier lately, and that leaves me with rescheduling the update times. I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Christian C. How are you doing finance-wise? 31st of January. Vivian. I hope you haven't been putting much into video games. I mean, more than one new game per month is way too much for your budget right now. I am doing well financially. After the transfer last week, I have 70 in savings now. I have been spending less on video games for your information. Have you been continuing to check the Wikipedia lately? I've put a bunch of posts from fans on the Sonichu Forum site I've learned about. Sonichu Forums. The plan on resituating the routine to match my bedtime change is simply draw two pages during the afternoon slash evening of that day, then upload the following morning. I have four pages I'm working on to upload tomorrow morning. I will be coloring them after I get offline. I'll talk to you later. Stay safe. Christian C. February 6th. Vivian. Do you have any money? I think it's time to try to go for broke. You know the Nintendo store in New York? I think promoting Sonichu there would be a major boost for fans and would get back some that you have lost from not updating. I honestly think this would be a good idea. Let me see what your finances for February and see what we can do. Hey Vivian, I'm currently having PC trouble. The fresh snow here caused a 40 minute power failure. Knocked it quite a bit. I'm currently unable to get it beyond its HP Pavilion intro screen. I can't even start up the system recovery. I'm typing this on my PS3. <clears throat> also, the bank update. The 800 came in on schedule. 630 went to my father and my credit card. I spent about 40 to 50 on a date with a lovely and sweet 23-year-old woman. That could not have been better. It was perfect. I'm going to take her out again in a couple of weeks. After the new 20 inches of snow melts. I can't afford a New York trip now. I'll plan it out and maybe make the trip in a month or two. Stay safe. Christian C. February 9th. I'm getting those pages drawn and colored as quickly as possible. I had to deal with a lot of snow shoveling. My right shoulder is bothering me right now. Also, I will have the financial updates for you after this is done. Talk to you later. Christian C. Define a lot. And when will it be done? Front yard, over 20 inches deep. Do the math.
This week. <laughs> Chris getting sassy. He said, do the math there. Still, everyone has to shovel snow. Two hours tops. You have the rest of the day. Hey, Vivian. 11th of February. Well, here's the situation on the bank currently. I still have $70 in my savings, yet no new transfers into it will occur for this whole month because of plans listed below with the items that come out to about out of the $800 for this month. $630 for my father. Items included in this will be listed below. Room plus board, $250. Gas for car, $80. DVR and internet, $70. Auto insurance, 40. Cell phone, 40. Payment on credit card debts. He picked up as previously mentioned, 150. $100 pocketed for the plans on the hooker to get me my first hookup on my birthday, as previously mentioned. This may or may not happen, depending on how the woman I am dating or talking and hanging out with feels about possibly hooking up before or on my birthday. If I can swing it, it would make me feel a lot better. About $40 on the date I had with her Wednesday the 3rd. It could not have gone better. <laughs> we both had a good time, and I held a hand for over a minute. The remaining $30 plus $20 from the end of last month will remain in the checking cap, will remain in the checking safe, and sound and untouched. And there's also the pocket money I get daily from my family. It's being used on food, and some of it is being saved. Also, an update on the pages in the Wikipedia. I'm currently on page 95 of the book. About 15 pages are still uncolored. <sighs> I will be sending the promised Sim Simon Law, Kill Off, and Apologetic pages to Evan's email before Saturday for his reference. You can help at the moment by spreading the word about the resurrection and the special message on the day I called Christian's Love Day. I gotta go, but I'll check in again another day. Love and peace, and stay safe. Christian C. The weekly transference into the savings will resume on or after the 3rd of March. February 12th. Vivian. God dang it, Chris! I thought you were gonna have the Wikipedia back up like Wednesday. Seriously, just hurry up! God dang it! You realize how hard it is to make money when you have zero fans! I have realized that. I have just advised the sysop to go ahead with the resurrection of the Wikipedia. Daily update will resume shortly. Stay safe, Christian C. It's been like two weeks without a single word for you, publicly, about the comic. You really need to do something soon. Seriously, Asperpedia apparently hit one million views. How many do you have? Last I checked, it was around 1.7 million. They're catching up. I am working on it very hard. Evan will have the pages later today. So, are you doing anything? February 17th. Yes, I have been doing a lot. Yesterday, I answered another mailbag. I have over 30 drawn new pages, most of which are yet to be colored in. But I am working diligently on that. I will be uploading page 75 tonight. Also, yesterday, I started the character bio page with a gathered starting collection of images and links. I have drawn a new Rosa 2 past memories with Kale for Rosa 2's page, which I will type up tonight. I will upload all the rest of the pages after one page a day and a bunch on my birthday. Stay safe, Christian C. Well, it's your birthday, February 24th. Yes, it is, but I won't officially be 28 until 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The pages will be uploaded this coming afternoon. March 4th. Honestly, it seems like you don't care, and that's fine. But you have to channel your energy into something to get somewhere. I suggest you just make something completely original. You should make something more mature. Then you will probably get the inspiration to work on Sonichu again. Make a special comic book about something completely new to show that you have a lot of talents in art and storytelling 
and are capable of change. Hey, Vivian. Firstly, I have been working on Sonichu, but I have been forced into trauma recently because my father had to go to the hospital recently for congested heart failure. He came back home yesterday and is recovering well. Secondly, there is a project I've been working on the side as well, and I may draw comic pages for a preview on that. We'll see. And third, my financial update. My tugboat came in on time. I still have 70 in savings. The weekly transfers have resumed. I gave my father his check for 630, 50 for a PSN card. 10 will be taken later this month for Netflix, and I'm thinking of getting a haircut and restyle to look like one of the guys from Celtic Thunder. The remainder will be saved for the transfers and for any rainy day events. That is all for now, and I will check in again later. Stay safe. Christian C. Why Celtic Thunder? Lol, don't they have five different haircuts or something? Might as well wear a skirt or something. Tell your father to get well soon. You should just post some stuff about your side project on the Wikipedia. You can't leave fans hanging. I know the trauma from your father may stress you out, but if he's doing okay, things will be all right. To answer your question, my lady friend lacks one of the dudes of Celtic Thunder, and I'm thinking about the update for tonight on the Wikipedia. 8th of March. You can take a small plot, expand it out to seven pages. Ta-da, comic. Put together four of them. Four weeks equals one month. For a monthly Sonichu comic. See, that's a great idea that you should totally do. You know, Chris, television shows have a schedule. Seth MacFarlane has three shows to do weekly, barring any important coverage like Winter Olympics, etc. Manga artists in Japan do their mangas monthly. Akira Toriyama did 11 chapter books every two months, which adds to about 10 pages per chapter. That's around 100 pages per two months. You can easily do a page a day. You used to do it too. That is good idea, Vivian. I will continue to work hard on the pages, and have been. The only excuse I have recently was taking out and making progress relationship-wise, with my sweet little lady friend. Speaking of which, I've uploaded a new little big planet for taste level for another project she and I are working on together. We have also shared a kiss recently. Smiley face. I feel at peace and happy with her, in person and in heart. Currently, there is 80 in my savings and about 50 to 100 in my checking. I'm going to let that sit for a while with the weekly 10 transfers. I will make a Wikipedia update very soon. Stay safe, Christian C. I can't wait to see you in our next chapter. We run out of time for today. If you enjoy these and want to see some more, please hit that thumbs up. It lets me know to keep making them. I look forward to seeing you very soon. Hey, we've got a playlist over 200 hours of this content pinned in the comments below. Come check it out, and I'll see you very soon on our next thrilling installment.